What's up YouTube, Dazwa Beats, back with another video. If this is your first time to the channel, as always, welcome. Today I'm doing a tutorial for beginners, alright? Show you the steps of going into using the MPC software, alright? Let's get it. Alright, step one. So the MPC is separated into sequence, tracks, and programs. So sequence, tracks, and programs. So for you can have 128 sequence. Hundred and twenty-eight. Hundred and twenty-eight sequence. And then you can have um in one sequence you can have 128 tracks okay i'll break all that down to you the way i do it i use only one sequence to make my whole beat one sequence and make my whole beat but then at the end you can create multiple sequence like copy your that one sequence copy it keep copying it to make more sequence and just mute out tracks to make your full track but I don't do it like that the way I do it one sequence however many track that I want explode the tracks and then bounce them all to audio and then that's how I that's how I um what's the word I'm looking for that's how I um that's how I track my song out in audio all right, so let's take a look. Sequence one, track one. So we're gonna open up track one. This is your drums. This is a key group, which you can take a one shot and turn it into, sp spread it straight across the, the keyboard. And this is for your um, plugins. That's all that I use, just these three. I don't use the rest of these, all right? So you open up, let's do plugin first. Go here, open up a plugin, track one, open up a plugin, let's pick anyone, let's just pick something, let's pick expand for instance. Once you pick expand, you use this button right here to open it up. Once you open it up, there go your, your, your VST, alright? So you can hit your record. Hit your overdub and then play right and you can get you go in all right so let's just add something random all right so that's just random so that's the notes, right? So to quantize these, what I normally do is hold Control, Shift, and T. See that? Control, Shift, and T. And it brings up the time correction. Now, see I was off right here? I'll put it on the one-fourth for the start and then do it. Everything should snap to this. See, everything snapped to that. All right, so that's 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 just your your that's your VST. All right. So now, if you wanna if you wanna open up another VST, right? If you wanna say you wanna use use another track, this is your chord. Then you wanna go to like just notes. You go to another track, but you wanna use another um another VST you go here right so you see it's still on expand what you do is you add one more once you hit that add that plus button then right here now you can add another one let's do let's stay in here let's add the mini the mini grand okay same thing open it up so every time you want to change a VST 
you have to add this, right? Let's just add something. So that's just random. I'll just hit in anything, all right? So now, once once you you got you have your two tracks, you are good, right? Now you want to add drums. So what you do is you go to here, go to your third track. But when I'm adding my drums, I like to put my drums on let's say a high number, a high track, let's say probably like 30 cuz I know I'm not going to have more than 30 track in a beat, right? So I put my, my drums on 30. Right? Now my then you gotta go to your, your drums right here. Now once you got have at your drums, come over here, pick whatever you want. This is your um you can pick samples, which is here, individual samples, and then you can put individual samples. You can pick from your whatever your hip hop, lo fi, whatever, as long as you have them installed into your VST into your um into your your MPC software all right so now once we do track we are adding now we go into a program because the drums is programs all right so we go to the drums and now we are adding a program is which is right here over on this end programs all right we're gonna add a, let's say just a trap program right there. So let's close that. So once you double click it, adds all the, the, the <clears throat> add all the WAV files as samples. Then you, you know this is not on the pads, right? Cause you gotta come to your program after you select it over here you got to come to your program and select that program that you just picked. Now it's on your pad. Okay. Or if you don't have a or if you don't have an MPC, it's also on your keyboard. So now, after that, let's just add something. Let's just add something regular. All right. So that's the drums. I forgot to take it out of the four. That's why I sound like that. Alright. So once you have that and everything is good. Now what I like to alright, so that's just the drums and the, the snare. Let's add something else. Let's add the hi hat. So now the uh, the hi hat is there. What I like to do now. So imagine if I had, if I had like say six different sounds, which I can add six different sounds if I need to. All right, let's let's just do that. Let's add six different sounds. All right.
right, good. So we have one, two, three, four, five sounds. We have five sounds. So what I like to do now is when I'm finished with my drums, all I do is explode them. So on the on the MPC itself, you'll go to um the pencil icon where it says track. You hit that pencil icon and hit explode. But I'm gonna show you right here. You go here, you go to edit, track, and explode. Once you hit that, now notice this became mute, and all these tracks are on a separate track now. So if you go to your track, hit the drop down, see, they're all on a separate track. So this is the kick, the snare, and the hi-hat, and you know, that's all of them right here. So now, we don't even need track 30 no more. Because if we didn't put it on 30 and then we needed to add something else, if I would have just added here, so the next stuff is everything falls in line from where I first started. Everything falls in line. Alright? So we can we can clear 30. So we can right click, clear, clear. So 30 is out the picture now. We don't need 30 no more because everything is here. See? On a separate track. And then what I do is I like to I like to name it. I like to name all my tracks. Go to the next one. Snare. Alright, go to the next one. Hi hat. Whatever. So you get you get it right. So we just keep going. So what I do after I have all my tracks. After I have all my tracks, I like to bounce everything out to an audio track. Let's go. So we go to track one. Bounce to a new audio track. So you go to edit, track, bounce to a new audio track. Okay. So then we go back to the MIDI. Change track one because we already bounced that one. Go to track two. Edit. Track. Bounce to new audio track. So that now that's track two is in audio. So we go back to the MIDI. Here. Edit. Let's go to track three. Which is our kick. Edit. Track. Bounce to audio track. Alright, MIDI, change it, snare, edit, track, bounce the audio track. It's a faster way to do it, but I like to do it this way because then I don't have to drag everything back in. What I what you could do is go to edit, hold on, go to export as audio mix down. And then you can hit um, explode tracks and then hit exp export. But then what that do is drop all the tracks in one folder. Then you got to go in and find the folder and then bring them back into your, your, your session. So instead of doing all that, I just bounce them individually, separately. All right. So let's go back to MIDI. Let's change the snare. You be on hi hat, edit, track, bounce to audio track. Now it's easier when I'm using the the actual MPC. When I'm using the actual MPC, it's easier because I hit the pencils, bounce the track, pencil, bounce the track, pencil, bounce the track. All right. Now, all right. So now I have all my stuff in audio. I bounced all the tracks to audio. So now I'm in audio. You want to come up to your track view right here. Hit track view and we in audio, all right? So this is everything. Hold on, let me drop that. I like to delete audio one. All right, so now we have all our tracks and the midis are mute. See all the midis, the midi notes? The midi these are the midis for the audio. All right? Same thing. So all the midis, just mute the midis and collapse it. Now what you do is you right click on sequence. Now we now we're finished, right? We have everything. 
all right we have the beat and everything now it's time to track it out all right so when we track it out you go to right click on sequence double in length right here you right click it you see it turned it it was at 8 now it turns it into 16 see 8 16 so we right click again double 16 which gives you the 32 so see that's a 4 right click again double in length that gives us the 64 so now you see what I'm where I'm going right now I can just delete whatever I don't need so let's do it one more time double in length give us the 128 all right so that should be our full song right here or if I don't need all that then we just delete some so how I do it is from my, my drums and stuff you go to select select these let's just delete that delete that that's how the beat build delete that maybe I want to bring this back bring this back right here you, so you can set it up however you want it now watch Alright, so that's it. It's simple. Just remember, whenever you need to change a VST, just add another program. That's it. Alright, if this is your first time to the channel, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification button to get notified whenever I drop some heat. Talk to y'all later. Peace.